Okay, most common problem on the 400EX, Honda 400, TRX 400EX. Most common problem I see on these. Okay, um, not a lot. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to start with, this thing had very low hours on it when I bought it. I bought it from the original owner who only bought it because his friends had quads. I mean, you can tell this thing is very low hours. Very, very, very low. A little scratch here with the, from the shifter. I took off the the cover right here, but I kept the chain safety on because uh, I don't want my chain to fly off and hit my uh, my crank. So, because I switch front sprockets here and there. So this is a 14. Usually, it comes factory with a 15. Believe it or not, this thing hauls ass with a 15 on there. But with the 14, it, it hauls balls too. But I, I like the more low end power. Only thing I've ever had to do was put a starter on it. And, uh, oh, the other problem with them, the major problem, they, these are overheater motors. It's got the Radical 4 valve combustion chamber. So that's the problem with these. It, they, they got dual pipes, and it helps. It really helps, but it's the same motor, the 300EX, identical motor. It's just got a different head. It's a Radical 4 valve combustion head, and, uh, it doesn't have dual cams, it's got a single cam, it's got a longer duration cam, might have a little bit longer or taller uh, lobe, but that's it, you know, it's not much difference inside of there, only difference is it's got two outlets, that's it, it's, a, it's, it's dual intake and dual outlets, um, and oh it's four valve obviously too, four valve motor. So is a 300, believe it or not. That's got a four valve motor too, but this is the radical version, and they overheat. So I got a uh, I got a dipstick coming that's got a temperature gauge on it to let me know, you know, closely to where my my temperature is on these bikes. The other problem I see, um, only problem I ever had and heard of, is the carrier bearings. I've had to replace the carrier bearings on this recently, and it was, you know, it wasn't that hard, but carry bearings right now and I was following going through the same water as a 300 EX with all that water he went through his carrier bearings are just fine mine went out quickly from the water so I put new carrier bearings and seals you'll see I don't have the rear caliper on it's because when I put it back together I gotta I gotta put this jam nut right here which is actually loose I gotta put that up against this and then tighten them both to push back this whole little threaded like, it's like a threaded spacer to push back against the whole piece here the whole uh, brake disc and then you'll see, you see the gap right there that's why the, the caliper won't go on because you know the, the, the inside or the outside brake pad would rub and I got to get a new disc anyways because I when I went to go change the caliper or the brake pads I, I went all the way to the uh, that's the problem too these things go through rear brake pads like crazy but i tore this disc up it's got indentions that doesn't come out so i've already put new brake pads on it and the rear brakes went out in like one day uh, or on this side because it, it went through it so fast that's why the piston hit it actually and made it worse the piston hit this i wore the brake pad right down to the caliper piston so i bought a new caliper and uh, I'm just waiting. To, I, I gotta get a new brake disc, and I gotta get that fixed first. I gotta get that spacer problem fixed. Other than that, I got really uh, quite a bit more power out of the stock exhaust just by taking the, uh, the, the like the little baffle spark arrestor out. And it's got stock headers already on it. If you look up the O1, and you look up what kind of uh, exhaust they got coming out, it's a, these are actually well. They're headers. There's there's some kind of special header I didn't know about. But they're, they're headers. They're not junk. Or I'm not saying that they're, they're not like some easy going factory like uh, 06. 06 they started restricting stuff. Even on the uh, like the Yamaha Raptors, like 01 through 05 were like sickening the 660s, the dual carburetor ones. And then they come out with uh, fuel injection, and uh, and after that they were just a lot slower. And they had just the you know the wheelbase that was shorter on the. Uh, on the Yamaha but this one's got the wider wheelbase and the longer wheelbase a little longer wheelbases than that that's 01 baby that's back when they had power and they were they were nice I put the bumper on it and then look at the wheel base on the 300 
it's not much of a difference but it's enough but all right and uh if you guys would please like share and subscribe i'd appreciate it thanks guys bye